Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul, the truth lies within, and we're going to do the recording of 30th of March, and you're going to see a series of recordings till the date that is 2nd of March today. So hold on to your horses, and we're going to look at all those blessings one after the other. So you'll get your blessings in the morning and in the evening. We'll, we'll cover up till the 2nd of March as soon as possible. So what does Baba have to say in today's Raj Yoga meditation blessing? He says that you become a Raj Yogi meditator by experiencing different stages of meditation. We generally think that meditation is all about listening to a commentary where somebody is saying something and we are just observing and feeling it. But God wants us to create our own ways of meditation. That means I, the soul, have to learn to talk to my subconscious mind instead of allowing somebody else to talk to my subconscious mind. In the beginning, we might need that kind of help because in the beginning stages, we have left all control of our subconscious mind and given all that control to the world, either to people, to the media, to what we have learned in school and colleges. And nowhere have we learned how to talk to our mind, how to stabilize it, how to bring it into our control. So in Raj Yoga Meditation, we learn this method. So there are certain methods which we are learning over here so that our mind becomes our best friend. So let's see what does Baba have to say. Baba says, may you become a Raj Yogi and a self-sovereign, that means in control of the self, self means mind, intellect, who sits on the seats of the various stages with concentration, that means stability. Now, what are those various stages? We'll explore that. Baba says, for Rajyogi children, the various stages are their seats. Now, we sit in asana, in an asana in yoga, we learn that there are certain asanas which we have to take so that we are in a stable pose. But this is the asana of the mind or the intellect which we are talking about, where the mind and the intellect is stable in a pose. Now, these are the poses which we are going to talk about. Be stable in the stage of your self-respect. Now, there are certain affirmations which we use. The world calls it as affirmations, but we call it as self-respect. Giving respect to the self. In affirmations, we could think about thoughts like, I am a rich soul. Now, it can mean two things. In a spiritual way, it can mean that you are rich with values, you have right virtues and you have right powers over your mind. That means your mind listens to you. Other rich would mean in a worldly way rich, that means financially rich. So these two things have different meanings. So worldly affirmations are different and self-respect spiritual affirmations are very different over here. Sometimes in the angelic stage. So first let's explore the self-respect. I am a powerful soul. When we say that to ourselves, but then we remember that I the soul have the power to tolerate, power to face situations, face my mistakes also, face my wrong thinking also. I am even having the power to face name and fame which people give me and still be humble. I have the power to accommodate people of different sanskars and different powers different understanding. I have the power to discern what to say, what not to say, power to decide. So these are the powers which we remember. But just by saying I'm a powerful soul, I'm a powerful soul, I'm a powerful soul, I'm a powerful soul doesn't have an effect until unless we go into the depth of what it means to be a powerful soul. So then God says that is self-respect, one form of self-respect. But we have many, many self-respect or self-affirmations, spiritual affirmations. Then sometimes in the angelic stage that I am an angelic soul, I got no relationship with this world or desires from this world and thus I am able to serve souls without any expectations. Then God says sometimes we stable in the stage of a lighthouse and might house. What does a lighthouse do? A lighthouse shows the ships the direction that don't come here, there is an island over here, you will get grounded. So. We can also get grounded. Sometimes people get grounded in the situations. They are stuck in financial situations. They're stuck in relationship issues. They're stuck in health issues. They're stuck in depression. So we can be those souls who are lighthouse and mighthouse sitting over here, meditating on the Supreme Lord, Supreme Godfather, being with him in the Supreme abode 
and then guiding the souls on earth is that is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris how can we become bodiless go into meditation in a higher stage and then serve souls from worlds beyond this so God says become a lighthouse and a might house might means powerful house and sometimes be an embodiment of love and be merged in love in love with God with God's creation and then spread love to everybody unconditionally so when we use these different methods to meditate then our stages are different our experiences are different it's like having one form of a breakfast every single day if you're having bread and jam every single day for the next 20 days you get bored but here we are what we are saying is have different methods of meditation have different breakfast for the soul for the mind and then you'll be powerful and best time to do these is early in the morning when you get up at four o'clock and you start meditating for an hour you recharge your batteries early in the morning which is known as the brahma murat or amrit vela then god says be stable on the seats of your various stages just like when you sit on a seat on a chair you don't move around right you are stable so god says be stable on the seats of your various stages these various stages which we have discussed and experience those variety stages it's a thing of experience a bodylessness experience angelic experience which we are not thinking about love from the physical we think about love with the spiritual then god says those variety stages order your mind what do you do when you meditate you have to order your mind did we ever order our mind we have been ordering people around we have been ordering situations around we've been ordering things around us to work our way but god says in meditation you order yourself you order your mind and intellect order your mind and intellect both how do you do that is what we learn in brahma kumaris whenever you want and become stable in that stage whenever you want you will then be called a raj yogi and a self sovereign that means i the soul have a control over my subconscious mind i the conscious mind can give an order to my subconscious mind which we don't learn in any school any university anywhere this is what we learn to do in brahma kumaris you too can learn this method you too can be stable have a power of concentration and have all relationships with the father in this method with this om shanti